And we're back! Yeah! Me and Ed were yelling at each other last time. Pretty much. He was eating pizza! I swear- Okay, no, we're not gonna do it. If it's a crime, I don't want to be right. That's not how that goes. It's not? Okay. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I could swear there was a song at one point. I don't know. Love song. Having sex with that girl's a crime. I don't wanna be right. Yep, that was it. Statutory rape. This great. If you jump on these. I think that was Aha. That was one of their deep cuts. Yeah, Aha. Statutory rape was great. Yeah. They weren't around for too long. I don't know why. Okay, but in, in this part of the game, we're now playing um, the shape puzzle game. Uh huh. And as you can see, this is an allegory for the current current state of affairs in uh, in America. You don't have to have so, a, uh, a segue. You can damn just it. start talking about something. Yeah. Okay. Like a person. What? Well, yeah. yeah, Robin Williams is getting old. Nice job. So Robin Williams is in the news, guys. Oh wait, no, that's not true. That hasn't been true in years. No, it hasn't. But he's still he's still funny as an old guy. I saw him on uh, The Nerdist. They had a uh, comedy without a net, and he was doing improv. He was born to do improv, so it was Yeah, him. I don't know why he went with written stuff, because his written stuff was like, yeah. But his improv, I mean, did, <laughs> did he invent the idea of improv? Yeah, if you talk to Robin Williams for one night, you call it improv. Yeah. Um, if I remember, uh, fuck, when he went on uh, live from Broadway, because I have the DVD and have had it since freshman year of college. Oh, when he drinks 19 waters in one hour? Was yes. that what that was? Was that just like a, a water drinking challenge, and like in the meantime, he was also doing some uh, comedy? Yeah, that's pretty much it. It was uh, drinking water and clip jokes. In fact, he admitted, I thought in like the interview on the DVD, that he made up half the shit on the spot before he went on stage. <laughs> Which is totally believable, because it's him. Yeah, only Robin Williams can do that. Most people plan, you know, a Broadway event, but not him. He's just like, give me 1,200 waters. <laughs> and I'll talk about pussy and jihad. So, yeah, great, great blend. But he's really good at what he does. No one do Have you seen anyone do it like him? I, I think I said earlier that no one did, so no. Yeah. Jim Carrey, maybe. The answer to that question. Jim Carrey, maybe. But not really. Did he ever do an Inside the Actor Studio? Williams? Yeah. Oh god, yeah. Because I mean, that would probably be pretty interesting. He uh, he was ripping riffing off of uh, some lady in the audience that was just laughing insanely hard. Oh, that's not what you're supposed to do. No, he yeah that, that show. Not at all. He I don't I don't want to say like he didn't take it seriously, but he was interacting with the audience and enjoying it way more than any other actor ever has in their life. James Lipton plays a pretentious interviewer, you know. So when you were in that Mr. Bounty commercial. <laughs> and you were playing Mr. Bounty himself. What were you thinking? Is there is that a James is that impression? No, I don't know. is there actually a Mr. Bounty? No, <laughs> no, I don't <laughs> think so. That would have like that would have. There little... was no paper towel commercial like that. Mr. Bounty. But no matter what he's describing, he makes it sound like you know. So you played Jesus. What was that like? I was there at your third grade piano recital. You ever notice? That was one thing I yeah. fucking noticed with James Lipton. Is apparently. He tracks these fucking actors since they were, like, babies. I don't know if he's a sincerely caring and genuine person, or the fucking creepiest fucker I've ever seen in my life. You can't tell. So, I I hear that you were in a high school production of Hamlet. Oh wait, no, I was there. I was there. I was in the audience. I have it filmed at home in my private collection. I think there's supposed to be a rocket around here or something. Uh, but yeah, Williams was on the, uh... Also, you got the impression they really cut down the whole show, the Rob Williams Inside the Actors Studio show, because it probably was four hours long and they cut it down to an hour to film on, you know, to show on Bravo in 40 minutes. Whee! Oh, fuck, they also had Tim Minchin on Comedy Boom. Without a Net, though. They had a bunch of good comedians just doing random stuff. I still haven't seen too much of Comedy Without a Net. For those of you who are interested, it's on the Nerdist Network, and uh, it's basically like uh, they go on stage without any material, and they're like, "Hey, do some comedy about it. Subject A, now." And they do make it. they make up Subject A at least on the spot as it seems. 
So the com the uh, comedy seems like improv. The comedians have to make up stuff on the spot, which stand-up comedians usually don't do at all. They're not improvers. Yeah, they're writers. Yeah. That's why they're stand-up comedians and not actors. Sometimes they branch over, but not very often. I did it, Ed. I yeah. beat a level. Yeah, you only beat three in the time it, beat. it took me to beat half of Look. one. Idle Springs, 100%. Colossus, 100%. Who did, who did Glimmer? Uh, well, you did, but we don't have... <laughs> Shit. We don't have the ability to 100% that. Yet. Oh, okay. I feel better. <laughs> who was a piece of shit that only got 10% complete? Oh, that was you. Oh! <laughs> uh, that happens. This is... I know this is a weird topic, but... I actually really like the swimming controls in Spyro the Dragon. I usually hate swimming controls in video games. Because they're just like, they're like land controls, only way worse. And you can go in every single direction. But Spyro, I don't know, I think it's like the dash. How the dash like makes you swim really fast. It feels it feels right. It feels good. They also don't make you look like you're suffocating to death underwater. Oh so, yeah, you can breathe underwater, which is Yeah, in Super Mario, they gave that... That, sh that fucked up heart thing. Oh, you're slowly dying. Careful, you're slowly dying. Oh, you're talking about Super Mario 64? Yeah. I was thinking of the original Mario, and I'm like, pretty sure... No, was no, that was not an Pretty sure it was an error in that game. No, no, that was an issue. But Super Mario 64, that was an issue. You had to find little treasure chests with air bubbles. It was annoying. Die! But Super Mario 64 is one of those first really big N64 games to... Appeal to a wide audience, I thought. Hey, Laura. You tell me I can't climb steps yet. Oh, I don't know how to climb. I need to give Money Banks money so he can teach me to. Are you climb. enjoying the active camera? Mode? I think they're trying to say that the institutes of capitalism are those that bestow mm. wisdom upon the poor modern youth. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's what I got out of it. Yeah. Also, Goldman Sachs won't write me back. I don't know why. Because he's, he's, he's a gay. Because <laughs> he's a gay. Hey, my bag! Such a faggot, faggoty bank they are. 400 gems. Tis a pittance! I'm doing things. You keep, you keep talking, I'll keep doing things. I'm really curious why they opened up the... Field for you? I don't know. Uh, I paid money bags. But what's with the sheep? The sheep. Okay. The, the fucking sheep. Well, you know what? Uh, what was the old joke? The Soldiers boss. of the Falkland Wars. That's you know what? The boss you know what they called sheep? War brides. Ah ha 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 ha. Oh. Oh. Okay. <coughs> All right, so that's the thing that you said. <laughs> it was an old joke from an older generation that could get away with that. Get away with what? Uh, abortion of comedy? Huh? Yeah. Huh? That's what they did. I did clip you? in the microphone. I don't even care. Yeah, you spiked on that one. Shit. Hold on, let me try that again. Okay. This will be it. All right, this will be the last thing I do. This will be the end of the episode once I do this. Okay. So, huh? I was checking the time. Check the time. Check it. What does it say? One, two, one, two. Check, Great. check. That's our time. One, two, one, two. Yep, it's uh, 12, 12. Secret orb! Oh, shit! I did it. Next time on Matt and Ed play, Ed's gonna do something. I don't know. Yeah, probably. Hopefully.